Alain FC of the United Arab Emirates and Korea Republic's Pohang Steelers became the first teams to book their AFC Champions League 2023-24 round of 16 spots on match day 4. There is however still much to play for and with match day 5 just around the corner. The AFC.com takes a look at how the groups stand heading into the final two rounds of matches. Alain FC are looking like the real deal as four consecutive wins saw them becoming the first team to book a spot in the next round. Saudi Arabia's Al Fayha tried their best but the inaugural AFC Champions League winners powered by two goals from Kojo Lobo were not to be denied as they surged to a 3-2 win for an unassailable lead at the top of the standings after match day four. With Ahal FC and Paktako FC settling for a 1-1 draw, the best of two and Al Fayha can hope for is to advance as one of three best second place teams from the West Zone but all three have to pick up the pace in the remaining matches to stand a chance. Turkmenistan Zahar will face Al Fayha away on November 28 while Uzbekistan champions Paktako travel to face LA. Sharjah FC and FC Nasaf are set for a thrilling race to the end after playing to a 1-1 draw three weeks ago. The result maintains Sharjah's one-point lead at the top of the standings and the UAE side will be determined to not slip up in their remaining two matches with only the group winners assured of advancing. Qatar's Al Sadesi, the 2011 winners look set to miss out on the round of 16 for a third consecutive edition after losing 2-0 to Al Faisali with the Jordan club creating history by winning their first AFC Champions League group stage match. Al Sadd on four points face Shodja away on November 27 while FC Nasaf will host Al Faisali. Air Force Club produced one of their best performances in recent times to defeat Al Atihad FC 2-0 on match day four. A result which threw the race for the next round wide open. Saudi Arabia's Al Ittihad went into the tie with nine points but simply had no answer to Iraq's Air Force Club with the talented Ali Jassim again playing a pivotal role with his fourth goal of the campaign. The defeat left Al Ittihad on nine points, two ahead of Air Force Club and Islamic Republic of Iran's Sepahan FC. Sepahan were phenomenal as they cruised 9-0 past AGNK FC and will be confident of their chances in the remaining matches. They next face Air Force Club on November 27 with Al Ittihad travelling to face AGMK. Al Hilal SFC and Navbahor FC are set for a thrilling race after both emerged victorious on match day four. Two-time winners Al Hilal overwhelmed India's Mumbai City 2-0 as the two-time AFC Champions League winners showed no signs of missing the injured Neymar. Navbahor were equally impressive in their 3-1 defeat of Nasaji Mazandaran of Islamic Republic of Iran as those Pakistan side maintained pace with Al Hilal on 10 points. That however is likely to change with the two set to face off on November 28 with Navbahor having the advantage of playing at home. Cristiano Ronaldo was not in the matchday squad but it was business as usual for El Nasser as they maintained their perfect start with a thrilling 3-2 win over Aldehail SC of Qatar on match day 3, five points ahead of Persepolis FC. A draw for Al Nasser when they host the Islamic Republic of Iran side on November 27 will seal the Saudi Arabian side top spot and a place in the round of 16. Two-time AFC Champions League runners-up Persepolis, however, can be expected to produce their best after having had to settle for a 1-1 draw with Tajikistan's FC Istiklal on match day four. A 1-1 draw with Kitchi SC meant Bangkok United's winning run was halted on match day four, but the Thai side remained the favourites to top Group F. The stalemate took Bangkok United to 10 points and their hopes of advancing were boosted by Lion City Sailors' 2-0 defeat of two-time AFC Champions League winners Genbuk Hyundai Motors FC of Korea Republic. Sailors and Genbuk are both on six points, meaning that a win for Bangkok United against the Singaporean side on November 29 will confirm them as the group winners. Yokohama F Marinos and Shandong Taishin FC are locked at the top of Group G after both collected three points on match day four. 
Japanese champions F Marinos have rebounded impressively from their opening day defeat against Incheon United to register three consecutive wins beating Kaya FC Yilo Yilo of the Philippines 2-1 on match day four. Shanding responded in fine fashion defeating Incheon 3-1 and will be looking for another win when they host Kaya FC on November 28. F Marinos meanwhile will not only be targeting the three points but also revenge for the 4-2 loss suffered against Korea Republic's Incheon on the opening day. The race for the automatic round of 16 spot from Group H is too tight to call with Ivan Bokum placed Jijong FC still in with the chance. Japan's Venfrit Kofu lead the standings ahead of Melbourne City FC on goal difference. With Bury Ram United just won adrift on six points, a shock 1-0 defeat to Thailand's Bury Ram on match day four meant Australia's Melbourne City lost their advantage, with Japan's Venfrit capitalising with a 4-1 win over Jijong of China PR. Vent for it host Melbourne City on November 29 with Buriram facing Jijong away. Kawasaki Frontala looks set to atone for missing out on last season's round of 16 after picking up a fourth consecutive win on match day 4. The 4-2 defeat of Thailand's BG Partham United means the Japanese side only need a point from their remaining two matches to confirm the group by top spot. Frontale, however, cannot afford to be complacent as up next for them are Malaysia's Johor Darul Tozin, who stayed in the race with a 2-1 win over former AFC Champions League winners Olsen Hyundai FC. Despite the defeat, the Korean side are not out of the race as wins in their final two matches, which includes facing Frontale in their concluding tie, may just take them through. Hoang Steelers booked their round of 16 spot in style defeating defending champions Warawa Red Diamonds 2-1 on match day 4. The victory meant Pohang advanced with two matches to spare and installed themselves among the favourites to go all the way. Three-time AFC Champions League winners Warawa's hopes now depend on advancing as one of the three best second-placed sides from the East Zone but the Japanese side on four points have much to do. They face China Pia's Wuhan Three Towns FC on match day five in a tie both teams have to win to keep their hopes alive, with Vietnam's Hanoi also hoping for two wins from their remaining games. With the AFC Champions League 2023-2024 group stage reaching its conclusion, the action promises to be spectacular. Stay updated on all the latest news and results through the AFC's digital platforms. Don't forget to download the AFC app from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store.